This was a good episode. A lot of confession, mostly from the king, but as much as I love that the king confessed that he knew everything, I think the highlight of the confession was towards the end, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will agree with me. And now, it's pretty much a family feud for the throne. So first, the king announces that Iwi will be dethroned as the crown prince, and you already know that Prince Wonsan is happy about that. Now, when the king saw what he saw, Dami letting her hair down, wearing the red shoes, he knew, and we all thought it was obvious that he knew. But what we didn't know was when he found out. He found out the night that the mom passed away. So he knew for that long. And everything that he did was to protect Dami. For example, postponing the crown prince's marriage. It was just a way to protect her. And I know that there was a comment that someone left in one of my review videos where someone said, if the crown prince, Dami, were to ever have a kid, would you think that they would notice? So the king was trying to not prevent that from happening. And dethroning Iwi was a pretty good idea. The first one, the king wanted Dami to live her own life. For the first time in her life, she gets to choose what she wants to do. I don't think there's any, any gift that is worth greater than that. Because ever since her brother died, she was always told what to do and what to say. And his path, well, I should say her path, her path was always chosen, usually influenced by Lord Sangon, but yeah, she never got to live her life. And also dethroning Iwi was also a good idea to protect Dami because if, if the secret was to be revealed to the public, instead of owning her own life, she would have lost it. And then eventually Prince Jeon is going to get ready to move into the palace. I do like that Iwi kind of revealed the truth to Jeon that he felt inferior to him. I mean, remember that one scene, I think it was episode one or two, I can't remember. But the king was treating a young Jeon more like his own son rather than his own kid. So, so there's the inferi inferiority in that situation. Can you imagine what the king is feeling? I mean, think about it. He lost his son, lost the mother to his kids, and now lost his daughter. He pretty much lost his family. His own family is not even in the palace anymore. So right after the announcement of dethroning Iwi as the crown prince, Iwi left the palace. As he was leaving though, I do like the fact that Jun was watching over him and the red ribbon was, was their sign. So I thought that was pretty cute. Now, Eun and Commander Yoon apparently had a plan to protect Iwi. So the plan was Commander Yoon and his men were to disguise themselves as bandits and kidnap Iwi. Now, when Jiyun's dad was chasing after Iwi and Commander Yoon, it really did remind me of that one scene where the real Iwi uh, was murdered. And I think that was in episode one. Jiyun's dad did stop running for a moment, but he aimed his last arrow at Commander Yoon. But here comes Jiyun to stop his dad. And then we get a fight scene between these two. Jiyun is just trying to protect Iwi. And his dad was also trying to protect Iwi. But of course is always under Lord Sangon's orders. And after all of that running, they found a place to spend the night. Iwi received a letter from his dad and this is where he confessed everything about he knew that it was actually Dami. He knew that Lord Sangon was a bad influence on Iwi since day one. And he also um, was against Iwi becoming the crown prince. And then we get to the docks. Iwi, well, I should say Dami now, is in hiding. And here comes Jiyun's dad, realizes that Iwi is dressed as a woman. So he asks his men to look at all of the faces of all of the women on the boat. And one of the guys, he was about to look at Iwi's face, but here comes Jiyun stepping in. He pretty much played it off like they were a married couple. So again, I do like the fact that Jiyun never left Iwi's side. He vowed to protect her or him. If you guys hear a loud rrr in the background, construction work, they've been working on it for months. I don't know when they're going to get done. But anyway, now we get to the confession. So first, as soon as Jiyun and Iwi got off the boat, Iwi wanted to confess the truth to Jiyun. But as soon as he was about to, here comes Jiyun's dad and his men and they started chasing after them. Now, Jiyun's dad's men did shoot their arrows and one of them did hit Iwi 
right on the arm. Now, as Iwi turned around, you can tell from Jiyun's dad's face that he realizes, wait, that's the same girl that I pointed my arrow to years ago. And he's definitely going to figure it out that the girl, well, the girl that he killed years ago is not the same girl. And she's there right in front of him. Now, my guess is instead of protecting Iwi, he's going to go after Dami and really finishing the job. Then the episode ends with the actual confession. So as Jiyun was just trying to help Iwi and his wounds, Iwi undresses, revealing that he's actually a girl and just says, this is my secret. To be honest, I really thought that they were going to hold out the secret until next week's episode because, I mean, they did have a chance to let Iwi confess the truth, but then Jiyun's dad got in the way, but I didn't expect the actual ending to be that. So I'm glad the truth is out. So yeah, this was a pretty good episode. A lot of confessions, mostly from the king. Um, we all knew that he knew, but what was shocking to me was how long he knew. He knew that Dami was the crown prince the entire time. And also he knew Lord Sangon was a bad influence on Iwi. So he wasn't oblivious to anything. And of course, the confession towards the ending of this episode where Iwi pretty much revealed that he's actually Dami to Jiyun. But here's the thing. He never said that, hey, I'm Dami. He just says, this is my secret. But eventually he'll say, hey, I'm not Iwi. My name is Dami, the girl that you met years ago. Now, speaking of Jiyun, I do like the fact that he never left Iwi's side. He vowed to stay by his side and protect him. As he was leaving, when walking through the forest, on the boat, being chased by Jiyun's dad, now that Iwi has the option to live her own life, I don't think that she's going to go back to the palace and take the throne. Here's the thing, she never wanted the throne to begin with. She was forced to. Right after her brother died, she was told to do this and do that. You can't say this, you can't say that. Here's your path, walk along on it. So now she has the option to live her own life, probably to live with Jiyun, marry him, and live somewhere else. Why do I have a feeling that Jiyun's dad is going to kill or stab somebody? I have a feeling that he might accidentally stab his own son and realize, oh, what the hell am I doing? I'm on the wrong side, yada, yada, yada. But I do have a feeling that he might kill Commander Yoon. He might kill Commander Yoon first, have no regrets, but then accidentally stab Jiyun and realizes, oh crap, I'm wrong. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the episode in my review. If there's anything I might have missed, please leave in the comments below. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya!